Welcome back to all you returning viewers and welcome any new viewers. Appreciate you guys watching. Uh, today we've got another flashlight review. This time we're going to be doing a tactical flashlight review on the Orca Torch T20. The people at Orca Torch reached out to me and sent this to me for a review. I've been using this flashlight for about three weeks now, kind of running it through its paces, uh, using it about every night in just various circumstances using it uh, throughout the house, using it uh, in the backyard, doing some shooting at my uh, backyard range. And uh, I've got a field out back. I've been shining for some deer at night, just kind of looking around, playing with the beam distance, seeing how it performs. So I'll put a link to this light down in the description below. And if you guys like the way this review turns out, feel free to click on that and buy the light through that link. So we'll jump right into it here. I want to show you guys what comes in the nice solid carrying case. And then we'll go outside and I'll show you guys some footage of how this light does perform in... Uh, it's going to be pretty dark tonight, so I'll show you how it performs in pretty much pitch black conditions. So now we'll take a closer look at what comes inside the nice carrying case. Uh, first here we'll take a look at the Orca Torch T20. Uh, this is just very solid construction made out of high grade uh, aluminum. And on the front here you can notice this kind of uh, strike bezel that you can use for, you know, tactical situations or personal defense. Uh, but it's also nice because it's stainless steel, so if you do drop it and it lands face down, uh, it's going to protect the, the glass on the front. And then it's also got the same stainless steel ring on the back with a lanyard hole. One thing that I do want to point out on this that I really like that most other lights don't have is on the back is your tail switch, pressure switch. So that can be just a momentary on, half click, and then you can let off. But what I like is once you do turn it on, there's a button here on the side which controls your various settings. Rather than it all being controlled through the same button, once it's on, you control it here with your thumb. So I found that very handy in all the use that I've, I've ran it through. It has a belt clip here built in, and then it has this ring here which I just kind of call it like uh, anti-roll ring. I don't really know the proper wordage or verbiage for that, but you can see here what it does once you set it down. It's kind of a, a square. I don't know if you can see it there, but it's kind of a square sided ring that goes all the way around. So when you set it on a, a flat surface, it doesn't roll. But the nice thing is if you don't like that, then you can just take the battery cap off and then that simply unthreads and you can remove that piece entirely. Put that back on and then it works just fine without it. And your belt clip still held in place and it doesn't move. Comes with two 18650 batteries. I just have an extra one in here but it comes with two from the factory comes with the dual 18650 battery charger. Comes with a couple extra O-rings because it is IPX8 waterproof. And the product warranty card does state that it is two years of free repairs after the date of purchase. And a copy of your user manual. Comes with a nice uh, carrying sheath. You stick your light in here, that protects the bezel, the front of your light. Then you can attach this to some molly webbing, you know, running around your belt loop. Attach it to a backpack, whatever works best for you. And it comes with an Orca Torch lanyard. So this light, once you turn it on to turbo, which is right there, this has a heat sensor setting, so it doesn't allow you just to turn this on to turbo and leave it and get extremely hot and you know risk any chance of catching anything on fire. This has built in memory to where after 10 minutes, it will automatically back down and run itself on the high setting instead of turbo. Pretty nice built in feature there. So we'll run it through the settings here real quick. This is low medium, high, 
turbo strobe and SOS. Just going to show you here what we'll be shining at tonight, just kind of a reference point. Uh, this barn right here that's in the frame, that is about 95 yards away. And then I'll show you guys off the back porch kind of some longer distances that we'll shine at. So off the back porch here, the top of this crest in this field right here is about 130 yards. Those trees behind it's probably right at 150. And then that white barn back there, the trees in front of it is about 290, about 290 yards. Nice good flood. And and there's the highest setting. Pretty impressive. Then here we are in the backyard uh, on the second setting. Right there is about 135 yards. And this is the third click. And the last click, or max. Pretty awesome level of output for a tactical flashlight. You can see those trees back there at about 300 yards. I don't know if the video will show that very well, but you can kind of see them back there around that barn. It's got a really nice flood and a pretty decent, not too hot of a hot spot. Really like the output on this light. All right, so now I'm just out here at the range in my backyard and I'm just gonna shoot this rifle freehand while holding the light here. Go for that smaller one now. As you can see there from the nighttime conditions that we just ran this thing through, uh, the light performed very well. So I'm not a fan at all of carrying around something that's made of you know poor construction, poor materials, and uh, this thing definitely doesn't disappoint. Uh, very high quality construction and just very well built. And as you can see there in the nighttime conditions, this thing is just super bright. The various settings that this thing has uh, from low all the way to high are the main ones that I use, of course, but those are just very handy. So you can you know dial it down if you don't need something so bright whenever you're maybe walking through the house or uh, you know, getting up at night and checking some stuff out. If you don't want to wake up everybody in the house, you know, you can keep it pretty dim. And then if you want to step outside and shine off the back porch or check what's in your driveway or whatever it might be, you can ramp that thing up and put it on its high setting and it really puts off a really nice hot spot and uh, just performs really well and just does a really good job of lighting everything up. So this light definitely isn't something that I would use for EDC or everyday carry just because it is pretty big and kind of bulky, but it's perfect for like a nightstand type light. Just something to keep right next to your bed or keep on the workbench, keep in the kitchen where everybody can get to it. With its uh, very high quality construction and just the build quality of it, it's actually something that you can use kind of in a personal defense type situation. Just something real handy to keep, you know, within the house where family members can get to it in case they need it. 
and just a very solid, well-rounded, well-built light. So I just want to thank the company OrcaTorch for sending out the OrcaTorch T20 flashlight to me. So be sure to click on the link in the description down below. That'll take you to Amazon where you guys can uh, take a look at this, read some more reviews, and then purchase it through that link. So as always, make sure you click the thumbs up, subscribe, and click the notification bell. Stay tuned for more videos to come. As always, happy hunting. Be safe. See you guys. Bye.